I grew up on uh, in Greenlawn, Long Island. It's uh, a small suburban town and a um, good place to grow up. In case anybody was wondering, this is how little it takes to look good. Kalani. June 14th was a day that will definitely go down in, in, in my history books and my memory. I was ready for anything. Fight day was just a matter of, of going out there and doing what I had worked on. And that was really the idea for, for the entire camp. Go out there, be Chris Algieri, and you're gonna be the new WBO world champion. People were definitely not giving me any kind of credit going into that fight. Down goes Algieri on a Ruslan Brabatnikov left hook. I looked at it and I was like, these guys just have no idea. It's tough enough fighting Brabatnikov with two good eyes, much less one eye on its way to closing. Undeterred by two first round knockdowns and a badly damaged right eye, Algieri would not only work himself back into the fight, but would end up outlanding Provodnikov in 11 of the 12 rounds. And Algieri is acquitting himself very well. I'm gonna show the world something they didn't think I had in me. No shortage of heart from Algieri right now. And no! Oh, right, 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 right. It's right behind you, Chris. You gotta see this. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right, sure, uh, oh, yes. That's beautiful. Oh, you know, you're lucky. I was about to eat it. You did it. Chris Algieri is one of boxing's newest stars. You know, Grandpa's holding this too. Oh yeah. What is oh, yeah. The newly crowned 140-pound title holder awaits the opportunity of a lifetime this November when he faces off against Filipino superstar Manny Pacquiao. And in the hard scrabble world of boxing, Algieri's journey is most unusual. I said you have to come up with some type of a degree besides the bachelor, you know, and he said, how about masters in clinical nutrition? And I said, fine, you can fight all you want, but you have to balance it out with education. And he did, and she he excelled. She didn't say I could fight all I want. She she said, no, I didn't say she that. Didn't say no, I but she I said, did say balance it out, right? I live at home with my family. Isn't that a good looking sandwich? I live with mom and dad, I live with my brother, his wife and his, his three, three kids, and our dog, Rocco. Get those really, really tight pants. <laughs> That's all I own. I live in the basement. I have a basement apartment. It's kind of like a bachelor pad. I used to be in another part of the basement, but this side over here, uh, it's probably been about three years now, two, three years. But I never had a TV until like six months ago. I just was like, I don't need a TV. I just all I do here is sleep. But uh, it's actually pretty cool having a TV. Later tonight, Chris will be honored at the local Paramount Theater where he's fought eight times as a professional en route to his world title win. It's a chance to celebrate his recent success with the hometown fans, but reminders of a larger challenge on the horizon are everywhere. Okay, I got my new shoes. So I've been wearing the Manny Pacquiao shoes for almost like a year now. I like them, they're great shoes, but it literally had the MP right on the side, you know? And I'm in the gym today, I'm like, I gotta stop wearing Manny shoes, you know? No disrespect to Manny, but sorry bro, I can't wear your shoes anymore. So I ordered these, these bad boys, and they just came in today. It's good timing. Let's go. We normally don't ride in, in limos to the Paramount, especially because it's only 10 minutes away from the <laughs> house. But uh, tonight's a special night. I think about the Paramount and where I came from and where I am now. As much as I appreciate the Paramount and what we were able to do there, I couldn't wait to get out. You did it. You did it, man. Congratulations. Got some so more to do, though. Got some more Absolutely. to do. Yes, you do. I wanted to be on national television. I wanted that exposure. My mother would ask me, how long are we going to do this for? And I told her, just wait. It's building. All this work is adding up. And uh, we're here now. These next couple months is going to be a fast and furious ride.
For Chris Algieri, a chance to make history looms on November 22nd.